Now, one of the things that you need in order to go through this course is to get access to some starter files for each of the sections in this course. And so in this video, let me very quickly show you how you can access those files. So the entire starter files, as well as the final files for each of the sections of the course, are hosted in this so-called repository on GitHub. And GitHub is basically a code platform where most developers upload their code to in order to share it or to collaborate with other developers or simply to store it. So a repository is basically a folder which contains a bunch of code or other files. And each repository can be accessed by a URL. And this repository is available on this URL here. But don't worry, you don't have to type that in. So I included this link uh, in this lecture on Udemy and it should also be in the very first text lecture of this section. So I'm sure that you can find this link here, so this URL, somewhere uh, in this lecture. So just click that and then you will uh, end up on this exact same repository. So in this repository, as I mentioned, we have all the starter files and for each uh, of the sections of the course, there is one folder. For example, the next section, which are the HTML fundamentals, contains all of these images and also this text document. Okay. I also included the final code for each of the sections so that you can always compare your own code to the code that I'm writing in the videos. And this will be very important so that you can compare your code to mine in case that you have any mistakes in your code. So comparing your code to mine like this will always be your easiest way of finding mistakes, so of finding errors that you are maybe typing in your code. And that will happen for sure. It happens to all beginners. And so in that situation, you can just get access to the final code. Finally, down here, there is also this written document which contains these most frequently asked questions. So before actually starting the course, it might be a good idea to quickly read through these questions. That should only take you like three minutes, but I'm sure it will help you clear some doubts that you might get as you go through the course. But anyway, what we really came here to is to actually get access to the code, right? And so uh, to download this code, all we have to do is to click here on this green button and then down here, choosing the download zip option. And now this should probably take some time because there are a lot of images here. And so let's just wait for this download to finish. Okay, and that uh, download just finished. Now let's go back to the desktop or wherever you are working. And then let's simply put uh, those files that we just downloaded there. All right. So then we need to uh, extract this zip archive. And on a Mac, you just have to double click that file. And on Windows, you just right click and then extract all. Okay. So we don't need that anymore. And now let's quickly open up this folder just so we can see that it is indeed the exact same uh, files that we just saw on GitHub. So we have the starter files and here the files for the next section and then also the final files. And so now with these starter files in place, we are actually ready to start learning HTML in the next section.